for indications where immobilization of the wrist and thumb joint is required, for example, scaphoid fractures. Define the position of the limb before the start of application, thumb and index finger opposing, wrist in slight dorsal flexion and neutral ulnar radial deviation. This will give the patient an indication of which position he has to maintain the limb. Take a double thumb length of 2.5 cm or 1 inch width of stockinette and cut. Choose appropriate width of stockinette that will fit snugly but does not constrict the patient's arm. Measure the length from elbow to fingers, add another 15 cm or 6 inches, double this length and cut. Pick up the thumb stockinette, make a cut into the piece and slide it over the thumb. Take the arm stockinette and measure where to place the thumb hole and make a little cut with scissors. Roll up the arm stockinette before applying onto the limb to prevent sliding pressure during application. Roll off over the arm. At the distal end of the index finger, make a small cut into the arm stockinette. Use additional padding to cover any bony prominences. Now apply one roll of padding starting at the thumb. Wrap twice and continue around the wrist. Pass padding through the web space. Wrap once around the hand, move proximally, wrap around wrist and tear off bandage. With a wider bandage, wrap around the lower arm working proximally with a 50% overlap. Use the appropriate widths of plaster of Paris bandage, smaller width for the thumb and scaphoid, a wider one for the arm. It's recommended to wear protective gloves before applying the plaster of Paris cast. Activate the bandages by dipping them into cool water. Remove from water, let them drip for a short while, then gently squeeze to drain any surplus water. Start with a smaller bandage and wrap twice around the thumb, twice around the proximal end of the palm, once again around the thumb and three times through the web space. Take the larger plaster of Paris bandage and apply from wrist to just below the elbow crease with a 50% overlap. Apply a second large roll of plaster of Paris, starting at the wrist, but this time going distally, passing through the web space once and then moving proximally again. Cut the bandage. Fold back the stockinettes, first at the proximal end of the arm, then the distal end of the thumb. And lastly, the distal end of the arm, sliding the thumb through the small cut made earlier. Soft edges protect the skin and provide comfort for the patient. Ask the patient to gently put the tips of their thumb and index finger together and mould the cast. Cut off any surplus stockinette at the proximal end and tuck in. Check for desired range of motion and any points that may cause irritation or pressure. After approximately 3 to 5 minutes, the cast is set and the patient can be released. After 24 hours, the cast is fully set. <laughs>